YouTube. Welcome back to my channel this evening. I want to start off by wishing everyone a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. Today is Thursday, December 25th, and I just actually got home from spending time with my family and celebrating Christmas and eating lots of food, opening lots of presents, and just having a great time seeing my cousins who are home from college right now. You know, just having the time to relax and just spend some quality time with everyone in my very large family. So um, my bed is not made because Olivia is actually chewing one of her Christmas presents. She got some toys from Santa Paws this year and it was her first Christmas and she was super excited. And we actually celebrated Christmas Eve because I, as an excited little dog mom, I couldn't wait to give her her presents and she loves them and she's just been chewing the heck out of them. So let's just jump in today's video. I have a huge drugstore haul and you guys know how much I love to um, shop at the drugstore. You know I have like some sick obsession with CVS and Walgreens all of a sudden. Um, CVS for a long time, Walgreens I've just recently gotten into and I just have a lot of things to show you so I'm not going to be able to swatch them all because it will take way too long but I will show you swatches of the things that I think um, should be swatched, you know what I mean. So let's just uh, jump in. I'm going to actually start off by showing you things that I picked up at Walgreens because there's not too many of them but I picked up two of these Maybelline um, Clean Express makeup removers and they look like this. I've tried these out in the past and I really, really like them. These were actually on clearance. I believe they were like 50% off the retail price. So I um, picked up two of these and I'm actually going to put them in my little container because there's so many things that I have to go through. And then I picked up a Giordana Best Length Extreme Lengthening Mascara. I've never tried this one before, but I did want to check this one out just because I know how much I enjoy using the Best Lash Extreme, and I figured why not give this one a um, a go. I haven't heard too many good things about the Best Voluming um, Extreme, the one with like the neon green cap, so I figured I'd play it safe by picking up the lengthening one. And then I also picked up a Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Lip Color in the shade... Um, click on my hyper pink and it looks like this. This is just a really pretty blue toned bright pink and let me do a swatch. It has a doe foot applicator and look how beautiful that is. I will let you guys know how this works out. I don't think I've ever tried any of the liquid lip colors from Wet n Wild. I do really like the um, lipsticks and I'm about to show you another one right now. And this is the Wet n Wild, um, I forget exactly what these are called, but they're just like the Wet n Wild matte lipsticks. This is in 903C Just Peachy, and it looks like this. And the reason why I picked this one up is because clearly I need another lip product. No, um, it's because I've had this one in the past and I seem to have misplaced it. And I just wanted to um, pick it up again because I think this was one of the last colors that I've been wanting again. Why is this taking me so long to open? And I will do a quick swatch of this as well. From the name, it's just a really pretty pinky peach shade. And then I picked up one product from Target and it was the e.l.f. Cool Bronzer. And it looks like this. And the reason why I picked this one up is because I have the golden bronzer, which I use as a highlight because it's very light and shimmery. But this one is matte, I believe. Yep. Yeah. So this one's matte, and it's all cool toned shades. And it was $3. You really can't beat the price for e.l.f. products. It's just sometimes hit or miss with the quality. And then I picked up one thing that I ordered through Walmart.com, and that is another Revlon Lash Glue. This is the Precision Latex Lash Adhesive. It's in the silver or gray container. This is the one I like. Um, I don't like the regular one. I don't think it holds the lashes on quite as well as this one. It's just that the Precision Latex one is a little bit harder to get off. So I think in my last video I had said that I wanted the latex free, but I actually got them backwards. I like the one with the latex. And the only time I can find it is online. 
And then I picked up one product from eBay and this is this is probably the best lip balm I have tried in such a long time. And this is the Shiseido Water and Lip in the pear flavor. And it's just a twist up lip balm. But this smells so good and it's super moisturizing. It makes your lips very soft and it, it definitely sinks into your lips. It just doesn't like sit on the surface and feel waxy. It just, it's really nice. And I ordered this on eBay. I believe it was $7. I picked one up for me and one for my sister Kimberly. And I really, really like this lip balm. And then I also placed an order through 6 p.m., which is a website. It's it's kind of like an overstock.com type of website. I've only shopped on it like I think twice before. And I was picking up shoes, I believe, those two times, or like maybe a dress. And then I realized that they had a beauty section and I was like, well, I need to check this out. So I picked up this Fakai Essential Shea Rich Moisture Mask and it looks like this. And this is the seven ounce container. This retails, I believe, for $35 and through 6 p.m. this was $14.99. And my hair needs all the hydration and moisture that it can get. So my sister really loves the one in the pink container, which is the three minute miracle mask. And she really, really like raves about it all the time. So I figured I would pick this one up and give it a shot. And then I also picked up two Essie nail polishes that I remember when they came out this year and I actually got one of them at the nail salon um, when I'd gotten my nails done one time and I never actually picked these two shades up from the collection. This one is Fashion Playground and it's just a mint green with um, iridescent almost like silver and different shades of um, iridescent glitter but it's not chunky at all. And then this one is I believe from their summer collection and this is Urban Jungle and I believe this is from their spring collection and this one's just a white taupe shade just like a really really light almost like a milky taupe shade and it's very neutral which I really like wearing on my nails especially being in the military and all um, we really can't have clearly nail polish like this but it's always nice to have neutral shades I'm pretty neutral when it comes to my nails Excuse me. Um, that's Olivia, if you can hear her, you know, walking around and snorting like she always does. And then, now moving on to Walgreens. There we go. I picked up this Andrea Brush On Strip, Adhesive, Strip Lash Adhesive. And it's just lash glue. It's clear and it, I've tried it out twice already. And I know I've tried this in the past and it kind of irritated and like burned my eyes and I think it's happening again so I did pick up a couple other lash adhesives I'm not going to be too worried about this I may test it out one more time to see if it um if it's actually the product but excuse me one moment go ahead do you want to go Olivia no Sorry about that. Sometimes she gets a little antsy when the door's closed, but I have to close the door when I'm, when I'm filming just because. Go ahead. All right, that was her last opportunity, but I have to close the door just because um, Kim and Dimitri are watching TV downstairs and Sebastian likes to come upstairs and Olivia likes to go downstairs. So I like to keep the noise to a minimum. But Speaking of this lash adhesive, I'm going to give it one more go. The reason why I purchased it is because it's clear and you don't have a problem with it drying down and having that white lash adhesive glue on your, um, on your eyeliner, so. What? Do you want to say hi? Say hi. Hi, you two. <laughs> Are you saying Merry Christmas to everyone? All right, I don't want her to be too distracting, so let's see if she will go downstairs and play. Go, go play, good girl. 
All right, sorry about that interruption. If you guys watch my channel, then you probably won't mind, but um, Olivia is a huge part of my life, and you know, she just likes to make an appearance cameo every now and then in the videos. But now I have to focus because I still have a ton of products to show you guys. All right, so sticking with Walgreens, I did pick up, I feel like I picked up more than just the lash glue. Oh no, it was the original products that I had shown were from Walgreens. This one just kind of snuck off and got away. And then moving on to Ulta, I picked up, um, I placed an order through Ulta and it had come in a little while ago. And I picked up the Boots Botanical Soothing Eye Makeup Remover. And I just wanted to try this out. It really had amazing reviews and I wear eye makeup every single day. So I go through eye makeup remover quite frequently. And then sticking with eyes, I also picked up two twin packs of the Ardell 120 Demi Wispies. These are my favorite lashes to wear on a regular basis. And then I also picked up two packs of the Double Up 204s. And these are eyelashes that I like to wear when I'm going for a more dramatic look. Ardell is probably my favorite brand of eyelashes from the drugstore along with Andrea. And then I picked up a new mascara because I don't need any more mascaras, but I really like trying them out. You guys know I have a really short, stubby little Asian lashes. I actually have false lashes on today. So mascara is something that I'm always looking for like the next best one to come out. And I picked up the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black in the shade 935 Carbon Black. And it looks like this. I've never tried this one out before. I know L'Oreal has a ton of mascaras, kind of like Maybelline. And every now and then I just like to switch it up. But for the most part, I stick to the same mascaras because I just stick with the ones that I know work for my eyelashes. And then I picked up another lash glue. This is the Duo. And this is in the dark tone. It looks like this. It's just a squeeze tube. And the reason why I picked up the dark tone is because I've never tried this one before and I really like the regular duo one that I have, which is the one that dries clear white. But I figure I would at least give the dark tone one a chance so maybe I won't have to touch up my eyeliner after I apply my false lashes. We will see. I will definitely let you know how this one works. And then I picked up this L'Oreal quad in the shade Unforgettable Lilac. You guys know how much I love wearing purples on my eyes. And this was just gorgeous. I don't think I've seen this one in the store recently, but I have two of these other duos and I really, really like them. So it looks like this. And I like the fact that they're more cool toned because I actually own a lot of warm toned purple eyeshadows and I don't own too many cool toned purple eyeshadows. And then I picked up a chapstick and this is the Pacifica Natural Color Quench Lip Tint in the shade Sugared Fig. This is what the packaging looks like. And you guys know how much I love my lip products. This is what the product looks like and it's just really pretty packaging. It reminds me of um, like Morocco, like the Moroccan print. And this is what the product looks like. Let's do a quick swatch. So it's definitely sheer, but a little bit buildable. I think this would look perfect for a just a very light wash of color on your lips. And I heard that these Pacifica products are very moisturizing so I'm really excited to try these out plus the fact that they're more on the all-natural side and they have way less chemicals than most um, other makeup companies from the drugstore and just even high-end for that matter I know that let me just see if it says anything on the packaging it is 100% vegan cruelty and paraben free which is awesome because Number one, um, I love cruelty-free products. I think it's, I became more aware of it in the past, like, recent years, and I know that a lot of cosmetic companies have actually turned over to cruelty-free, 
and also paraben free. I've been trying to stay away from parabens a lot lately, especially with my skincare and um, just moisturizers and makeup. Just I don't think parabens are. I haven't done a lot of reading, so don't like take my word. But for what from what I've like read about parabens, they're just not good for your skin and just chemicals in general. I know I wear a lot of makeup and a lot of I use a lot of skincare and you know I do dye my hair and everything and a lot of lotions and body products but I try to keep it more natural especially when it comes to my face my um, face wash and my um, exfoliator are more gentle more paraben free phthalate free sulfate free so all right I'm done talking about that lip balm and then I ordered um a couple products from Hot Look, Hot Look, Oat Look. You guys know what I'm talking about. I shop on that site religiously. And that's actually kind of one of my goals for 2015 is to reel in when it comes to ordering from Hot Look and Oat Look. Only I get a little bit crazy, I think, because I do have a Nordstrom card and they are a sister company of Nordstrom. So I get points for when I purchase through that website. And also they always have such amazing deals. So I picked up a couple NYX blushes and one is in the shade Taupe. Um, I picked this up because I have been wanting the shade and it is sold out everywhere. Every time I go to Ulta, it's sold out and I've never seen it in stores at CVS or anything. So it looks like this and I guess this shade is really good for contouring. It's just a cool tone taupe shade and it looks like this. You guys know how much I love to contour my face so I'm excited to try this out. And then the other shade I picked up is in red and I'm really excited because I don't have any red shades at all when it comes to blush which is quite amazing I suppose because I do own a ton of blushes. It just looks like this and I'll definitely have to have a light hand with this because you guys know how sometimes especially with blush blush and bronzers I do tend to go a little bit heavy with my blush and my contour and then yesterday I was at Nordstrom Rack looking for a faux leather jacket and um, I actually picked up this necklace which I absolutely love and let me tell you guys this necklace was on clearance for $14.97. So I think it's so pretty. It's like just me. As soon as I started, I was like, ooh, that necklace, you're coming home with me. But this was probably the most exciting thing that I picked up at um, Nordstrom Rack in a long time. And it is the Stila Art of the Fine Line Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Set. It looks like this. And it comes with my all-time favorite stay all day liquid liner right here and this is the full size and it comes with three smaller size ones in the shades midnight moss and dark brown so I'm super excited that I saw this this was $22.97 compared at $39 and I think that's a great bargain because this eyeliner alone I believe full size they're $20 or $22 so I'm super excited and you guys know how much this feel stay all day is my holy grail liquid eyeliner it just works amazing and I used the Kat Von D tattoo liner in the shade trooper for the last time today because the brush started splitting and it wasn't giving me a fine enough um, tip at the end of my wing. So that's going to come in handy very, very soon. And then I went to CVS because you guys know how much I love CVS. And I picked up a, an EOS um, shade cream in the scent of Vanilla Bliss. This was the third one in the entire line, which is the last one I have never tried in this scent. So I'm excited for that. And then I picked up a nail, a nail polish, an Essie nail polish in the shade Chinchilli. And it looks like this. It's just a, almost like a gray purple lavender shade. It's really, really pretty. And then I picked up, they were having a sale. So I picked up a couple things on sale and then a couple things that weren't on sale. So the two products that were on sale, um, this Milani face powder is in the shade 04 light tan and it was 75% off and I've never tried this before so I'm excited to give this a go and then also this NYX mosaic powder blush in the shade MPB 10 love amore 
was 50% off. And you guys know how much I love the other one that I own, which is, let me see if I can pull that one out real fast. Well, I can't seem to find it at the moment. But you guys know how much I love my other mosaic blush, so I'm really excited to give this one a go. This is more coral orange, and the other one is more pinky red. And then I picked up one liquid liner, and this is the L'Oreal Infallible Jumbo Felt Tip Liner, the Blockbuster, and it looks like this. And this is really thick. It looks like a Sharpie, in my opinion. And I don't know if I hauled this because I did pick this up quite a while ago, but I had still kept the wrapper in my little um, my little area over here where I put products I need to haul. So just in case I haven't hauled this one before, I've only tried this out a few times and I do like it. It's very easy to control because it's, um, it's thicker. But at the same time, I don't think it's like super jet black, so I don't use this to do my tip. And also, because of the fact that it is a felt tip instead of a brush tip, I only like using a brush tip to wing out my eyeliner because I feel like I get a more precise wing. And then the last few products from CVS are lip products. I picked up one more NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Peaches and Cream, and it just looks like this. This is a really gorgeous shade. And then I picked up two new Revlon products, and these are the Color Stay Moisture Stains. I picked them up in Parisian and then Barcelona Nights. Parisian Passion, which is this one, which is a gorgeous. I've already worn this one, I believe, definitely once, maybe twice already. And this is right down my alley. Look how beautiful that is. It's just a um, dark purple, kind of like a plum. But you definitely can't see it when I hold my wrist all the way back there. And the other one I haven't tried out yet. And this is Barcelona Nights. And this one is definitely more pink. So this one isn't as pigmented. But it's still really, really pretty. It's like a watermelon pink. And then I picked up two of these Maybelline Vivids in Hot Plum and Brazen Berry. I just wanted more purple and pink lipsticks. So let's see. This one is Hot Plum. Right there. And Brazen Berry I have actually tried already. And this is Brazen Berry. And I picked up one of the L'Oreal Color uh, Collection Privé by Frida. And this is 350 Frida's Nude. I own a couple other ones from this line, the Collection Privé, and I really like them. So this was the last one from the whole collection that I was interested in trying out. This is really pretty. So it's right here. And it's more of a cool toned mauve. And then I picked up two Revlon lipsticks. One is in 840 Honey Bear and it is from, uh, it has a shine finish. Ooh, that's a really pretty nude. And then the other Revlon one is in the shade 130 Rose Velvet, and this is a cream finish. I've tried this one on already, and I really, really like it. It's just a, it's a brown, and it's really gorgeous. So it's right there, but it's more like of a dark rose brown. And then my sister actually picked this up for me the other day when we were at Target. I have been looking for this lipstick for a while now, and it is always sold out whenever I see it in the um, freestanding um, collections. And this is the Maybelline um, 
matte collection which is new and this is in the shade 660 touch of spice and I have seen this on YouTube all over the place and I can never find it and I finally found it at Target and my sister was like yeah don't worry I'll get that for you so it looks like this it's what I have on my lips today I really like it the thing is this today was the first time I wore it and I don't know if it's because let me do a swatch of this as well and I don't know necessarily what it is about this lipstick and I don't know if it's just because it was super hyped up here on YouTube but I don't think it's the most flattering tone on my skin so I don't know if during the summer when I get a little bit darker it might look a little bit not clearly not more natural but it might just look better with against my complexion but right now I wasn't super crazy about it so we will see and then the last couple of things I want to show you are from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. You guys know how much I love going to both of those places. And the first thing I picked up at TJ Maxx was a nail polish. And this is an Essie nail polish in the shade Carnival. And it's just a really pretty glittery nail polish with a bunch of different iridescent glitters in it. They're very, very small and thin, which I like because I'm not a huge fan of chunky glitter. I think it tends to be um, a little bit, like, kiddish looking in my opinion. And I think the more, um, like, finely, um, like, the smaller specks of glitter just look a little bit more mature. And then I picked up this Pacifica body wash and this is in the Persian rose scent and this is sulfate free which I really like and I'm trying to go more that route it smells so good but I might be partial you guys know how much I love the scent of roses and it just smells so good and this was $5.99 and then the SC nail polish was $4.99 which I really like picking up nail polishes from TJ Maxx and Marshalls just because they're usually around this marker if not a little bit cheaper whereas like the one that I picked up from CVS I believe was $8.99 it's just that CVS will carry the newest collections whereas Marshalls and TJ Maxx will carry the collections from like previous seasons and previous years and then the last bunch of goodies are from Marshalls and I picked up a Crabtree and Evelyn trio of hand creams and these are the ultra moisturizing hand therapy and they're in the shades lavender rose water and summer hill I love these hand creams they're like some of my all-time favorites this package was $12.99 compared at $30 and they just smell so good they're super moisturizing and I actually mix them with just regular unscented body lotion sometimes and use them as a body moisturizer because they make your skin super soft and at the same time the scent lingers it's not overbearing or overpowering it just smells really like really nice and I love the rose water and then also the um there was like one or two other scents that he really, really liked. But I actually like them all. There's just a couple that I prefer over others. And then I picked up another sexy hair, healthy sexy hair, soy tri wheat leave-in conditioner. It looks like this. And this is my all-time favorite leave-in conditioner. I think it does a really good job at, you know, helping my snarlies and tangles brush out. But at the same time, it doesn't weight on my hair or make it feel like heavy or greasy. And then to go along with hair care, um, my sister actually picked this up for me the other day. And it is the Batiste Dry Shampoo in the shade A Hint of Color Vibrant in Red. And I wanted to give this one a go because I recently just colored my hair again. And I really like dry shampoos. It's just that the ones I have right now are just the regular Batiste ones. I have a couple of those and I also have the um, dark brunette one. But when I saw that they had a red one, I wanted to give this one a go as well. And then I picked up two um, Kala crease brushes. And they were only $2.99. And they're, I love Kala brushes. I think they're amazing quality. They're my all-time favorite. Whenever I see them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I always pick them up. They're they're very similar to the Eco Tools. I just prefer this brand a little bit more. 
And then I picked up a couple of things from Models Own. I picked up this little brush set, which is five pieces. It has a powder brush, a lip liner, a shader, an angled brush, and a blending brush. And this was $6.99. I actually have an angled brush from this company in this bright orange packaging and I really like it. It's super soft and it doesn't shed even when I wash it. And then I picked up another eyelash curler and this is only $3.99 so I wanted to give it a shot plus the hot pink candles and that's kind of what sold me on it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and then I picked up a nail file because I've picked up a few nail files recently and they all, I think it's just because they're cheap, they all just like, the they get very damaged and they only last like one time. So this is the 4-Way Nail Buffer and this was $3.99 and it just has a different, um, different like grits of paper. So if you want to like shine it or smooth it or file it. And then I picked up... The Ahava Mineral Body Lotion, and this is my favorite lotion ever. And whenever I see this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I pick it up. This was $19.99 compared at $37.50, so I think it's a great bargain. And it, it smells so good. It leaves your skin super soft and moisturized, and it actually sinks into your skin. It just doesn't sit on the top and then like make your clothes stick to your um, body. And then the last few products I picked up, I picked up a bronzer, and this is the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster in the shade Medium to Dark. And I love my other Bronze Booster bronzer from Physicians Formula, so when I saw this, I was like, I, ha I have to pick this one up. And then I picked up a L'Oreal Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Eyeliner in the shade 794 Purple Obsession. It looks like this, and I love purple, so I wanted to try this out on my eyes, and um, this was only $2.99, so I figured even if it it's not like the best eyeliner in the world, for $2.99, like, you really can't beat that price. And then I picked up one nail polish, and this is China Glaze's Escaping Reality, and it's just a really pretty bright pink. It's not like a neon pink, it's just a really bright pink. And it's more like a toned down, warm toned pink. I guess it's kind of like a mix between a watermelon pink and a bubblegum pink and a neon pink. Okay, so maybe it's kind of like a neon pink. And then the last product that I have <laughs> is this MAC Studio Better Than Nudes Eye Palette. And it looks like this. This was $5.99 and it comes with eight eyeshadows. And let me just take it out of the packaging. I thought this was really pretty. And I thought this would be great to bring if I was traveling and I didn't want to bring one of my regular palettes for fear that it would break or the shadows would crumble. And for... $5.99, you really can't beat the price. That's what you would pay at the drugstore for like an eyeshadow quad. And you get eight eyeshadows, so you could definitely do a really pretty look with this. And that is it. So <laughs> I know it was a lot of products, but I have been saving these products, some of them, for a while now. And I do have a couple more orders coming in from Sephora. So if they come in in time, I will do one more um, high-end haul for 2014 and I think that's gonna be haul like enough hauling for a little while because I haven't quite figured out my goals for 2015 when it comes to beauty budgeting but I know that this year due to the fact that I started YouTube and I'm not blaming it on starting a YouTube channel because I have purchased a lot of makeup way before even starting YouTube but definitely there is a certain desire it's not like a, a pressure but there is a certain desire to want to purchase more and more and when you see someone hauling something that you're like oh that looks really pretty I want to pick that up and then it before you know it you're just you're purchasing a lot all the time and I realized like I did a ton of hauls I think I did 
the, I think this one might be like 22 or 23 for this year. So that's essentially like a haul every other week. And I know there was definitely hair care and body care and even makeup products that I purchased, you know, here and there that I ended up using or putting them away and not hauling them. But we will see what 2015 brings. I need to sit down and focus on working um, on a beauty budget or a beauty goal so that way I can keep this more under control. And don't worry, there'll still be hauls next year. Like I don't plan on going on a, a year long no buy and I'm not knocking on people that do because I think that's excellent and when you have a beauty budget and you stick to it, I'm very um, impressed and I admire those people. It's just that, um, I guess what it is is that I'm I'm a really good with how I spend my money whereas I'm not in any debt. So I myself feel that I am financially secure in the situation that I'm in where I can afford the luxury of being able to buy makeup when I want to buy it. So by no means am I saying that I have all this money, I just spend it frivolously on makeup, but I do work extremely hard for my money, and um, when I want something, majority of the time, I don't try to justify it and say like, oh, well, you know, if I cut back here, if I cut back there, I can afford this or I can afford that. If I can't afford something, I just don't get it, but if I can afford it and I want it, I'll usually end up getting it because I, I think, you know, like, I work very hard, so why not? And yeah, I think that's it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I know some of you guys really like my long chatty videos. Some of you guys really like my haul videos. I'm sure some of you guys think I spend way too much money on makeup, but um, it is what it is. So I hope you guys all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays, a Happy New Year. I'm sure I will see you between um, then and now, um, between now and the new year. And I also want to mention that um, I... I'm in the works with another YouTuber here, um, and I'm not going to give it away quite yet, but I will be doing another beauty swap, which I am super looking forward to because um, besides shopping for myself when it comes to makeup, I just love shopping, even if it's for other people when it comes to makeup and beauty, so I'm super excited to be doing that. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and share. You know I'm not forcing you to, but I appreciate everyone who has and who is going to. You guys are amazing, and thank you so much for all the encouragement and the support and the sweet comments. And that is it. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.